What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here and today in this video we're looking at the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Death Egg Robot playset by Jack Specific. And if you guys want to know where I picked this up from, I actually got this at the Toys R Us in Macy's, the exact same Toys R Us that I did in the massive Sonic Toy Hunt video if you guys remember that a few days ago. Now I don't know if this guy is a Toys R Us exclusive but if you can't seem to find him, don't worry he is on the Big Bad Toy Store website so I will put a link in the description for that as well. I believe he's actually up there for as a pre-order i'll have to see but i will put the link in the description for you guys now before i start the review i highly recommend you watch the movie first before you watch this video we're going to be talking about the movie and spoiling things like that and there is an exclusive figure in this playset that could spoil for you if you haven't seen the movie definitely watch the movie if you haven't but if you did then well you're in the right place so starting with the front of the packaging man we are again greeted with this amazing amazing artwork right here you guys can see the death egg robot with sonic right here I don't know why he's purple though. I don't even remember the death egg robot being purple in the movie though I'm, I don't I don't know, but he's he's purple. So there's that but yeah There's this nice artwork right here You can see Sonic is on the bridge that we seen in the movie that was crushed So that's pretty cool. We get the logo right here right here it does say crushing arms we get a picture of Sonic right there We do get the exclusive, you know figure right here It says defeat robotic and then we get the warnings up here to the side at the top right here is really the same thing We've seen at the front and then the bottom right here is the license on the side of the box We get the logo and then a render of Sonic right here. On the other side of the box, we get the logo again and we get some more pictures of the playset along with this other picture right here. It looks like Sonic is like punching the robot right there, so that's pretty cool. Now, here's the back of the package right here and it looks pretty cool. We do get the same pictures we've seen to the side here, but this picture, let alone man, is just really cool. Like, I just love that whole like picture with the death egg robot right there. We actually see like a kid right here behind the death egg robot, so I'm gonna assume that's where you can move the arms from the back of it, but you know, we're not gonna know until you know we open this guy. So, without further ado, guys. Let's go ahead and crack this guy out of the packaging. All right, so here's the playset and the figure out of the packaging. Now, before we even look at the Death Egg Robot, we gotta look at the brand new movie Supersonic figure right here, which is the exclusive figure for this playset, guys. So here he is right here, man. Now, right off the bat, man. Yeah, I know, I know, man. He got the green eyes. I thought they were gonna fix that, man, but he still got the, the green eyes, man. Still got the green eyes. So that's a problem right there. He even has the same expression, man. Look, I'll even show, uh, give you guys a comparison with the regular one. Um, you know, just the same expression, man. I thought they were going to give him like an angry face, but, you know, it's the same thing. And another thing is, guys, um, there is no other, like this Sonic figure. Um, you know, it is separate, so it doesn't come with this playset. Um, it's just this is the only figure that will come with this playset. Here's the thing that's um, new with this figure. So this figure is like all rubber. Look. See how I can move the quills and everything like that? His head's very, very loose. Very, very, very loose. But look at that, man. It's just all rubber. That is very... I was not expecting that. That's very... I don't know why they went with that, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining, but it, it, I guess it's it, it's something, man. It's something. So yeah, you can like move the quills, like the ears. Like, look at that, man. I think the only thing that's not rubber is like his torso and then uh, I guess like his tail um, as well. But yeah, everything else, man, like, look at that, man, that's, that is, that is something, all right. And I'll even show you, for example, see how I got my other figure, can't use, can't even move that, but, you know, I can do that, so there's that. It does suck the way that his head's very loose, but, you know, it is what it is, man. But, um, as of, um, articulation goes, it is the same thing as your other 2.5 inch figures, man. You know, there is the head, the arms, we do get a, a, a hinge right here, we get a hinge right here. The legs kick up, back, and that's pretty much it right there. And for another figure comparison, guys, here he is with the mainline supersonic figure right here. Look pretty good, pretty, pretty cool. And see what I mean? Eyes are red this time, look at that. But uh, yeah, that is how they look, you know, if you guys wanted to know that. So that's pretty cool right there. But enough of that, let's get into the actual, well actually, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on, before we get into the robot, let's look at the bridge right here. So this is a separate piece. Um, when you open this, this whole bridge is together, but the um, Death Egg robot, um, I think the only separate pieces was this bottom part and then his arms, but this whole base part was all together. Um, but the arms and then this part was something you have to like connect with the Death Egg robot. But here's the bridge right here, guys. So the bridge is pretty cool. So the bridge has pegs right here. There's a peg right here. And then there's a peg right here. So you can peg, you know, the supersonic figure right there. 
and um you know the bridge it just looks so cool man look at that really really cool man and then you know there's that because you guys know the bridge you know it tilts like that so the robot can you know like <laughs> you know it can it feels like this you you know well i almost dropped it right there but you know you'll launch sonic if he was here the only thing is though is that if you peg sonic and you launch him i think he's just gonna stick to the peg so the pegs kind of just you know if you want to launch him you have to take him off the peg but yeah that's the bridge right there the only thing that's weird is i wonder why is there's pegs here you know I don't, I don't know if that's just the design of the bridge but there's like these pegs here and you would think well at least i would think that you know you would peg it to the playset or something but there's nothing to peg this to the place that it's kind of just there you know like there's nothing there for you know it's just I, at first i thought you peg it somewhere but you don't really as you guys can see you know i have it just right here but there's no movement so it's like you know there's it's i feel like it has to go here i i don't know i don't know but you know we're gonna try to figure that out uh later on but yeah I, that was the bridge right here so here's a closer look at the death egg robot man now i'm really a fan of like the detail going on in this thing like even though it is really just like a like a like a 2d sort of robot thing you know it's like it's just like a one like thin little piece if you can kind of see that right there there's nothing behind it really it's just like a wall really um but it, it it's pretty cool the way how they did this man i'll give you guys you know, I'll just give you guys like a little glimpse of like, you know, the torso right there. I really, really wish this was like just an actual figure, like the actual Death Egg Robot Man. That would have been cool. Uh, there's the fist. Um, I mean, yeah, this, this thing's pretty uh, massive. But I wanted to get like a close-up for you guys to, you know, look at it. You know what I mean? Like, I, it, it's just pretty cool, man. I, I like what they did here. It, it's like, look at that thing, man. That, that thing just looks amazing. So here it is, man. This is like the sizer right here again. Um, you know, it is just like, you know, the, the torso really, and it is, you know, so there's no legs with there or whatever like that, but that is the size of how it looks. So if you guys want to see a comparison with that. All right. So this is how the death egg robot works. So basically what it is is, so as you guys can see, it can turn once you put it on here, there's like a slider. So it does turn like 90 degrees, which is pretty cool. So you do that. Now these latch right here, you basically just kind of lift tilt it. And you know, that's when you, <laughs> you know, for example, let me just get the bridge, for example, uh, get the bridge right here. And then, you know, you just turn it and, you know, you smash it if you want. You can't lift it up. I don't know why I didn't lift it up higher than that, but boom, you know, that's what you do. You kind of put Sonic here if you want, uh, you know, for example, kind of like if you want to reenact the scene where Sonic was on the bridge or whatever, and then you just... There you go. It doesn't really have good launch though. Like it's not like it doesn't have the good mobility for it to launch. But that is basically what that is. So there's the arms right there. Um, there's no elbow joints or oh wait, never mind. There is there is elbow joints. You know, so that's that's cool right there. So there's elbow joints. Um, you rarely see it though, cause you know that's only that's only like lifted high up and then you just you know what I mean. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um I don't remember the boss from SA2 the uh. You know, the bossy fight in Pyramid Cave, I think. The, you know, you guys remember when he does this, he's like, boom. And then I think he like, he, he hits his face or whatever like that. I can't remember what the name of that boss was, but that that's what it reminds me of. It. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so that is the Death Egg Robot. If you guys want to know the side of it, this is, you know, just <laughs> that's the back right there. You know, that's what you get there. But this is his good side right here. So <laughs> here's the bridge right here. You know, it, it, it tilts. So what you do is, you know. You kind of just, you know, turn it and I guess it goes a little bit further and then you, you know what I mean? That, that's, that's what I'm going to assume. Now, the weird thing is though, is that, you know, the package of, you know, the package of it, it looks like this, you know, the bridge is this way and then there's the robot, but the instruction has the bridge like this. So the point is, is that Sonic, he's supposed to like, you're supposed to launch him, I'm guessing, and then he's supposed to like hit the robot because if you hit him he'll like you know he'll fall back or something like that but the problem is is that for example even if i had sonic here and i just use my hands like this you know he rarely launches like this he just launches up so it, it'll be hard to really launch the robot you know what i mean so i don't know how that works i guess he'll just you'll just have to use your imagination or something but basically you know that is basically what you do here you kind of boom and yeah something like that you know you can hulk smash if you want to but that that is the, that's that's basically how it is really but imagine if you bought like two of these man and then like you got one on this side and one on that side 
and then you just got the Sonic right there. Now that would be pretty cool. So here's how it looks with the figures on the bridge right here. And if you guys also want to see, I can move this to the side a little bit. Uh, well, Sonic just fell right there. But here's a comparison to uh, how it would look if you wanted to display it with, you know, the plane right there. You guys remember that time when, uh, in the scene where uh, Super Sonic was right here. And then I think Eggman was trying to punch him or whatever. And remember he like, he blocked it right there i thought that was so cool man that, that was such an awesome um an, an awesome scene right there in the movie but um yeah again that is basically how this thing works man you know that is how it works you just you know you oh well yeah well, that's how it looks so if, if you uh if sonic was going to defeat him he falls back like this so <laughs> that's how it looks right there oh no here he comes he's gonna crush him fuck 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 Where are my manners? But that pretty much does it for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Death Egg Robot playset. So my overall thoughts on this, man, I personally like it, man. I really do like it. I remember me saying, like, you know, if I get this in person, I think it'll be better. And I, it is actually better. It, it, it is a lot better than I thought it was. I was not expecting it to be this massive either. It is a, a bit janky, you know, like the bridge and, the, you know, the, the arms a little bit. Um, as a matter of fact, I was having trouble with the arms when I was putting it together. It was kind of sliding off a, a couple of times. But you got you to, gotta like, slide until you feel like that click really you'll you'll know when you put this thing together but uh yeah that that was my thoughts here so i hope you guys enjoyed this i would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this as well i thank you so much for watching and i will definitely catch you guys in the next video take care my friends